Warning, the following video will contain spoilers from the Flash episodes The Nuclear Man and Fallout. If either of these uh, might bother you, then spoiler alert to stop watching now. Also, I tend to get a little excited when I talk about things I'm a fan of, so I may use some uh, adult language of a frank and explicit nature, so viewer discretion is advised. Other than that, if you guys are still here, hey guys, Dave here. It's been a while since I made a video. Uh, a lot of real world stuff has uh, been catching up with me and I had to take care of that. So, But I'm back now, so it's all good. Uh, also, uh, <laughs> uh, this week, actually, uh, today is uh, Thursday, uh, February 19th, 2015. And this week's episode was Fallout. In my opinion, it was essentially the second of a major two-parter storyline. Because one really re went right into the other. So uh, it was pretty intense, and now it looks like we got to wait uh, until March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, until we get our dose of uh, uh, Flash again, which really sucks for new episodes, but I digress, I can hold on. Anyway, uh, before my other channel got taken down, I made several different videos talking about my thoughts about Dr. Harrison Wells and the possible revealing of his identity. I was adamant that he couldn't be the reverse flash. He couldn't be Zoom. He couldn't be that because it's too obvious. It's too easy. Well, in recent episodes, well, not only have we revealed to Grodd and him working with him, but the man in the yellow suit was, in fact, Harrison Wells. I'm man enough to admit when I'm wrong. And a lot of people were just saying, yes, it's reverse flash. It's no, actually, here's the funny thing. In a recent interview, Tom Cavanaugh, uh, the guy that plays Dr. Wells, was asked, are you the man in the yellow suit? And he said, yes. All intently and evil and stuff. Which, okay, that kind of cements it. It's just, I think the big disappointment was that it was too easy. I mean, after the whole thing with Smallville and Lex being Clark's best friend and becoming, of course, evil conniving son of a bitch, uh, and going into Arrow, uh, we were thinking that Tommy Merlin may one day become his greatest enemy. But they flipped the script on us and turned out it was actually Malcolm Merlin, played by John Barrowman. Well done. I like that. That was cool to me. Now, the real kicker is that, to me, the whole thing about him sitting up as the reverse Flash or Eobard Thawne or Hunter Zolomon or, even, or whatever, that was too easy. It was too expected. And really, I would have thought that anyone doing the quality stuff that they're doing in Arrow would do better here, especially with the loophole that Harrison Wells doesn't exist in the comics. So what the hell's going on? Of course, you know, the whole idea is that uh, Harrison Wells, if his middle name started with a G, it would be H.G. Wells. So he's obviously a time traveler. He has knowledge of the future. And he has the yellow suit. Okay, I get it. He's also got speed powers revealing, but they kick on and off. He's trying to build up to actually connect back to the speed force. I get that. But, with everything going on, especially with the uh, things going with the Detective West and Cisco revealing that there were two speedsters at the uh, Allen household the night that uh, Nora Allen died, and that there was a blood spatter that matches an adult, Barry. Yeah, it looks like Barry did go back there, but <clears throat> he's getting ready to take it as a lesson of what not to do. What mistakes not to make. And I think that... Uh, yeah, eventually we're going to see time travel involved, but it doesn't make any sense. Yes, in the comics, Hunter Zolomon was a guy that was a friend of Wally West Flash and wanted to push him to become a better hero by making his life miserable. I'm not getting that vibe from Harrison. And he's certainly not Eobard Thawne because he would have figured out a way to actually go back and, and go back to his future time of the 25th century. So that's not him. I know that I kept on saying that I believe that uh, Barry is, her Harrison is actually an alternate future timeline of Barry Allen. They look similar. There are certain inside jokes that Barry would seem to know more than Eobard Thawne would. So, what's going on? Of course, the uh, taking out the blood type was a big thing. But, it was that whole thing with the blood that got me thinking about one more possibility. Yes. He's the man in the yellow suit, but he never says he's a reverse flash. He never says he's Zoom. So what's going on there? Well, here's two things to consider, my friends. One, 
In an episode of Law and Order SVU, there was a suspect of some sexual assaults who, in order to match up DNA, volunteered to take up to give a blood test. The blood test uh, did not have the same DNA, so it was a match. He was let go. Later, it was revealed that when he was younger, he had a complete blood transfusion. Someone else donated blood to give him that uh, to, to let him live. His DNA could have been taken a cheek swab, which after other types of DNA, they did manage to check that, yes, it was in fact him. But if you do a blood test, uh, it's going to come up completely different DNA and blood type. So that was what he was counting on to throw it off. Okay, Barry Allen is <laughs> a, 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 essentially a CSI. He would know this trick. And uh, there's two blood types found. I believe A and AB negative, which is a rare blood type. Here's something fun, guys. Did you know that AB negative is a universal donor type? It is rare, but basically anyone that has AB negative blood can donate it to someone else. Which means, <laughs> let's say an alternate future Barry went back in time, something happened, he got stuck there, and he knew he was going to have to ride things out in order to uh, prevent any hiccups of the timeline. If he got a full blood transfusion from someone, say like, I don't know, Dr. West's, or not Dr. Well, uh, Dr. Wells' uh, deceased wife, then if he had a blood test done, he wouldn't come up. Fingerprints can be surgically altered. Blood can be donated from someone else to give a false DNA test, even a false blood test. Things are looking right now that Wells had something to do with uh, Nora Allen's death, but that has yet to be revealed in the next episode coming up. I believe it's called Out of Time. I could be mistaken. But that's the one last trick that is truly genius, truly smart, that in my opinion could make this guy a future, alternate future Barry Allen where he went back in time, something happened, he got stuck there, and he's been riding the pine ever since, and essentially having to create the events to give Barry his powers. And he's been coaching him to make him stronger, better, tougher, faster, in order to actually one day stop Reverse Flash. Why set him up? Why set up your greatest enemy to one day try to defeat you? Unless that's what you want him to think. Second, in the comic books recently, there's been a blue flash, or a future flash. It was a, a, a Barry Allen from the future that went back in time, and apparently a cataclysmic event happens that actually screws up the speed force. And he believes that his younger form is actually responsible for it. So in order to stop it, a speedster has to die to seal up the speed force, at least to stabilize it again. So an older Barry Allen comes back in time and is prepared to kill himself to save the Speed Force and the future. Okay. That's uh, a little interesting there. Of course, eventually that didn't exactly happen. There's actually a, a future Wally West that ended up getting sacrificed instead of Barry. <clears throat> and when this uh, future Barry, or future Flash died, that also sealed the rift. Now, a future Barry has been known to be able to, to when he figures out he has the power, nothing. Well, he's like a dog with a bone, man. He will keep going and keep pushing until he gets his way. Him going back in time and trying to stop his mother's murder actually created in the comics the Flashpoint reality. And this essentially created a time boom which affected a lot of different things in the DCU, creating a completely alternate timeline. It was already stated at the beginning of the series that we're going to find out the time is mutable. It is malleable. It can be changed. So we're going to be looking at alternate timelines here. Harrison Wells has been protecting Barry, nurturing him, even sacrificing his own individual plans in order to keep making Barry better, smarter, stronger, and taking out bad guys, or guys that we know that should be alive in the standard DCU. Is this a Hunter Zone kind of move? No, no. I think personally, this is an alternate future Barry, who is taking out people that are supposed to be in the timeline, like St Simon Stagg or, or General Wade Eiling. He's grooming Barry to take on a Reverse Flash. 
I think, just like future Flash, he's preparing Barry for, to take care, uh, to do the hard thing, to take a step, whatever it takes, to make what he thinks is the right choice. He's grooming his past self, or a past self. I think he's setting him up. He's become the very thing he hates. I think he's actually saved the Reverse Flash's costume, and he's using that to pretend to be the Reverse Flash. He's now become everything he hates in order to groom Barry that the next time you see him, no, you stop him. You take him down. You stop all of this. Also, a fun fact, in the Crisis on Infinite Earths timeline, it turns out when Barry sacrifices his life and goes faster than light to save the universe, he actually becomes the very lightning bolt that goes back in time, strikes those chemicals, and gives Barry a speed. He becomes a loop where he gives himself his powers. So, with that thought, I submit to you, I could very well be wrong. Everyone else is saying, yes, he is, he's the, I mean, I'll concede, he's the man in the yellow suit. But is he the reverse flash? Is he Zoom? Is he Professor Zoom? Or is he an alternate future flash? Because look, if they did the thing with Malcolm Merlin on Arrow and threw us all for a loop thinking it might have been Tommy that will one day grow up to be his enemy, if this is just a, a, a flat-out Eobard Thawne or Hunter Zolomon, it would be so sloppy. It would be so obvious. Even Grant Gustin said, I thought I knew until I saw him. Like, whoa, I didn't even see this coming. If you think you know, you don't know. Despite everything else, I still believe, I am putting it out there on record, until I am proven wrong, in the next couple episodes probably, I still concede that Dr. Harrison Wells, in my belief, is an alternate future Barry Allen. I'm saying it. Done. So, what do you guys think? Please, comment, like, subscribe down there. Also, go back and check out my other videos, including, uh, well, the Flash Fact Funk. Come on, the Flash Fact Funk's going to give it to you. All right, guys. Take care. Dave here. Peace. Yum, yum.